Good day mates, welcome back. So this is just going to be a little short video today for um, an aftermarket product that I've got from a company that hasn't been running for particularly long I don't think. Panzerwerk Design and the tracks are for my uh, M4A3 Sherman which I'm building on the side as a side project to my uh, Andy's Hobby Headquarters 116 Tiger 1 and uh, why did you get these tracks John I hear you say when there's tracks that come with the uh, kit well my friend if you think I'm going to waste my time cutting all these pads and tracks and cleats and joining things and what have you cleaning them up and then fiddling about trying to glue them together you must be loco my friend because there's no way I'm going to do that so I've got these I've had a little go with them they are fiddly they are small fiddly for me my fat fingers and my arthritis finger there they are small they are fiddly but they're beautiful they're all separated, they're all ready to go. All you've got to do is just spend a bit of time, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, if you want to do them all at once, then that's down to you. If you've got the stamina and the patience to do it all at once, then good on you, mate. But I haven't, so I'll be doing it in a few uh, sessions. I've already started, put a few together. So let's have a little looky looky and see what they're actually like. So this is a box that it comes in, a nice decent sized box. Uh, I think they come from the, either Poland or the Czech Republic, I'm not sure about that. I know it's rude of me not to know, but... And they come in these. There's all your little track links. Nice little protective... You can carry it around, you can hang it up on the nail if you want. It's got a little lock there that you have to press in before that'll open. These are the ones that are giving me the most problems. These are the connectors. But we'll come to them in a minute. But I'm going to persevere with them because they're beautiful little tracks. So let's have a closer look up at the actual links and connectors. So these are the links. You get 200 of them in this little con container. There's a little bit that I did off camera. You can see they're all workable, flip floppable, movable. So you've got the two links and then the two connectors that go in this push fit <laughs> no i don't live in a haunted house i've, I've got the bedroom window open because it's hot again outside and uh, i've got this window open as well so it's a through breeze it's making the door open anyway see that one's fell out because I probably didn't push it in hard enough. They are very small. That's for sure. Let's have a look at that connector while it's... Uh, while it's there and it's fell off. Sorry, I'm sweating. So this is one of your connectors. If I can get it to stay on my little finger... Can you see that? Nicely detailed. Smooth as anything. No flash, nothing to clean off. Just straight out of the uh, tub. And those are the two connectors that push fit into the ends of the two track links. You do have to be a bit careful because I have broken one so far. 
and I don't want to be breaking too many because I don't know if uh, he supplied any extras. I found him through Facebook actually on one of the modelling groups possibly. Here, did you see that's gone in nicely. So what I've been doing is making sure they're on the right way round of course, getting a couple out. I'll open the uh, connectors. I really would hate to drop them on the floor because you would never find them. Right, so what I've been doing, I have put some together in my hand and I have put some together on the bench. So they've been going like that. Get a connector. Try to get it the right way around. Yeah, see. It's going to try my patience, I know that. But I'm going to persevere with them. Just going to do a few at a time. Have a break, put them down, put them away. And that's gone in there. And that's gone in there. And come out again. See there, now that one's broken. Because I twisted the link. That one's broken. It is going to try my patience, I can tell you that. But. There you go, one's just fell on the floor already. So I'm probably not putting them on properly. I think I'm not pressing them hard enough because I'm frightened of breaking it, which I just did. That one isn't clicking in. So what I've done is get tweezers just to help them in. I still prefer metal tracks any day of the week over these but I just couldn't find Sherman ones anywhere if anyone knows any different feel free to let me know because I will buy some so I don't know what he supplies but in the way of spares but one has just dropped on the floor and I don't know where it went. People with more experience, more. Oh, that one went in lovely. You can see they're nice. Look at it close up, there's not a single mark on any of them. 
They're beautifully done. So much detail. But it's all this... When they gave out patience, I stood at the door and held it open for everybody else. That's the trouble. Ah, oh, there's the link. I can see it. It hasn't gone to the, uh, the great link house in the sky. And it wasn't one, it was two. So if I attach them on there, If I attach those two together, again you have to keep making sure you're putting them on the right way around. Well, they're all facing the same way. Get one of the connectors. So I try to get one in and then the other one in. Yeah, I'm not very good at this, I'm afraid. I'm probably making them look worse than what they are, but my fingers are too. Oh, there you go, that clicked in, that was a definite. You can feel that click in. And that one. Let's get that in that side and see what happens. There you go, that clicked in nicely, that one. So there you can see, that, I mean, they're beautiful tracks. You can see how they all move and bend. They're lovely to look at. But my God, what a pain in the ass to put together. I've got three boxes of different resin tracks down there. That I just can't get on with. And it's a shame because they're beautiful looking tracks. But it's probably just me. I haven't got the patience. I haven't got the skill or the dexterity. Which is the main problem. Anyway there you go. Panzerwerk design. You make your own mind up. Obviously these are small because they're Shermans. Um, if you had a panther or a tiger. Obviously the links are going to be much bigger. And probably just be one pin or maybe one pin from either side. I don't know how he does it. But anyway, I'll leave a link to his website and his Facebook page. Have a look because he's got loads and loads of different uh, links for different uh, AFEs, you know, and the different types of track links that a certain tank would use. And there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later.